بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين أجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحم الحمد لله uh, from 26th of September uh, we started the 10th round of Catholic Shia Dialogue in the monastic community in France uh, you may be familiar with uh, Catholic Shia Dialogue. Uh, we have also a video clip uh, on timeline of these rounds of dialogue up to the round nine. So after several years of friendship with some uh, Benedictine monks in U the UK and their visit of Iran in 2002, then we had the first round of Catholic Shia Dialogue in 2003, July 2003 in the UK, one day in London, four days in Ampleforth Abbey. And Alhamdulillah, it was very successful, was considered by Tablet, which is a Catholic English news uh, uh, letter or magazine, as the first major major British encounter of the Catholic theologians with Iranian Shia thinkers and theologians. Then 2005, we had the second, 2007, the third round. Then there was a gap because uh, Abbot Timothy went to Italy. Then we resumed it after I visited him in Italy. With, you know, we were on a tour with some brothers from home. And then we had round four in uh, Italy, in Rome, five in Iran, six in Assisi, in Italy, seven in Iran, eight was in Kenya, July, sorry, August 2017. Then in March, April 2019, we had the ninth round in the UK and Iran as a follow up. And then this was the tenth round because of COVID, so from 2019 till uh, last week we didn't have unfortunately although we had planned to have it so this is the tenth round mashallah uh, these are signposts otherwise we have uh, many other meetings uh, but these are the signposts alhamdulillah six volumes are published every time we have different topic this time the topic was on suffering and martyrdom so we had few presentations from each side and uh, inshallah bi'iznillah my presentation on martyrdom soon be available in the, maybe after the chapel lecture uh, some of our brothers and sisters were there some couldn't get visa or face some family issues etc last minute we were planning to have a large group more than 10 but we ended up with being uh, five people from our side, uh, from US, from Canada, from UK, and from Kelsey, we had uh, Brother Reza, Brother Mustafa, and Sister Esra. And our Catholic friends were from US, from uh, France, from Belgium, from Germany, from Australia, from Egypt and Kenya, from Tanzania. So Alhamdulillah was a very good group that we know each other for a long time. And we had different papers on suffering and martyrdom. Then on Friday, we visited a very interesting community, uh, another one, where they have programs for the youths. And sometimes in summer, uh, 2,000 youths from all over Europe and sometimes other continents go for a week. Uh, continuously people go. It's the first monastic community that has 
Catholic and Protestant monks together. Teze. I hope inshallah we can have a, an online session to um, brief you more about this uh, round of dialogue and some presentations inshallah and pictures etc. I was supposed to return last night but uh, came to the because flight was cancelled and some alhamdulillah have returned home I think brother Mustafa must be uh, on the plane now brother Reza inshallah travels tomorrow so we pray for safety of everyone regarding our uh, discussion about tazkiratul muttaqin so today, today inshallah we study the last uh, letter which is letter 16 uh, of Ayatollah Bahari Hamadani and this one is uh, as I said many times another maybe letter he wrote to Imam Mahdi Ta'ala Farajah Sharif or someone must be very very special for him a great teacher a master of spirituality he doesn't mention any details so based on the content you can get the idea of whom could be the addressee he says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Fadayat Shavam may I be your ransom you had told me to infer, inform you about my condition during this separation. And he says, I am, as you can see, but still you cannot know what I am. Means my situation is partly visible. You can look at me and see how I'm suffering but there is more which is not visible he says the desire for a vessel for reaching you and meeting you has very much affected me and has taken away my understanding and my heart like a mad person I go into different lanes I go to market I look at every face young or old so that I can find you sometimes children throw stones at me I don't know if literally this has happened uh, but Meaning that people don't know wh why, you know, I am looking everywhere, you know, people don't understand wh what is, you know, the cause of my pain. Because, you know, love is something that is very much different from other kinds of conditions and it's not very understandable for those who don't have it. He says, Gahi Delra Besange Atfal Khushmidaram. Sometimes I am happy that children throw stones at me. <laughs> he says, I'm happy that because of my love I receive such treatment. Suffering for love is maybe physically painful, maybe even make you very thin, very weak. But uh, spiritually, you enjoy it because you prefer to suffer than losing your love. Gahi ta'ne wa ta'riz raqib wa aghyar ra bar khud mi kharam. Sometimes I am happy to buy, means to take teasing and you know comments of uh, competitors and others. When they tease me, it's okay. Or as it is said, I am the one that even f I am tired of nafase from breeds of angels. 
you know everyone wants to be in the company of angels and feel their breath but sometimes you are so much you know concerned about something that even if such a good thing happens you may not have interest although uh, this doesn't mean you don't kind of appreciate at all it means that you are looking for something greater you know, for example if someone is very much trying to meet a mama zaman even if an angel comes to him would not be uh, distracting him so he says al hasil mamnuna all in all i am very grateful gahi sahraha mi gardam sometimes i go into deserts look around gahi daryaha mi nashinam sometimes i travel on the sea sometimes i climb mountains sometimes i go to deep valleys for example na dil ra aaram na qalb ra sukoon o itminan is there is no tranquility there is no peace in my heart faya lahu min ajab kayf al ajab it's very surprising very astonishing what is happening he says agar durust beguyam galat guftam he says if i tell correctly i have said mistakenly and then he explains so on the one hand i am suffering separation from you but on the other hand it, i am not very separate from you because you are always in my heart zira ke hamare dar qalb man furu nishaste you are always seated in my heart و در پیش چشمم حاضر you are in front of my eyes before my eyes i am not separate from yes physically i am not separate but i am very much with my heart connected as if i can see you baba tahir oriana hamedani has a, you know poem he says he uses that one be sahra bengaram sahra tabinu if i look at plain or desert i see you if you look at mountains i see you if you go to uh, sea i'll see you so he says if i say you are near then why i'm going here and there if i say you are far then why you are always with me i'm always concerned and thinking about you then he says qaraz az in maqalat خلاصی خیش نبوده He says the purpose of saying these things مقالات sometimes is used for essays sometimes for sayings it can be here both but I think he is not referring to previous letters he is previous I mean these words The purpose is not to free myself, you know, from such conditions. It's not that I want to get rid of this love. Balke istehkam ulqe maqsud ast. My uh, reason, purpose is to make this relation firmer. So this complaint. to the beloved about separation is not that you know i wish i didn't know you i wish you know i didn't have love for you no it's a way to express your eagerness for uh, being closer therefore he mentions this poem i think we had this poem before setam on nist ke dar band koni seydi ra you know if For example, a hunter puts a trap and takes a prey. Then that uh, prey is not happy and wants to run away. Uh, its freedom is taken away from that prey. But in this case of love, so the hunter is the beloved. 
and he has captured the lover with love so this is now a totally different story he says injustice is not that you have captured me I am trapped in your love for example this is not injustice ستمان است که از قید خود آزاد کنی Injustice is to free me from this To let me go I want to remain attached and tied to you So, so I'm not complaining why, why you have you know, given love, to you, uh, uh, love for you to me I'm saying why you don't let me be with you more So, then he says, I am a person that needs mercy. Tarahum means to have mercy and you know, pity. Please have mercy on me. Okay, I am not worthy. I'm not qualified to be with you. So, be very kind to me. Zarre parvari kun. Zarre means particle. Zarre parvari means that you know someone who is very low and uh, you know like nothing honor him and bring him up my wings and feathers are broken please come to help me if the reason for keeping me away is to punish me for my bad actions and not being polite so please have mercy on me and don't expect me what I cannot cope with. You mean I am not that, you know, good and qualified person? Have mercy on me. So this is not by saying I don't want to be better, meaning that I have done whatever I could and still I know I'm not good enough. But not that I don't do anything, you know, you have to <laughs> accept it as it is. اگر مقصود امتحان من است if the reason for separation this purpose is to test me it says لا شيء لا شيء means nothing when nothing could be tested I am nothing you don't test nothing you test someone student I don't know a trainee you test I am nothing if someone reaches this level of understanding emptiness and nothingness and spiritual poverty, it's amazing. If the purpose is to perfect me and purify me so that the value of Vesal and meeting will be known, what do you expect from someone that for 50 years has been in Mazbaleye Bord. It's a very powerful statement. Bord means far, to be far. Separation. Mazbale is where they put rubbish. Yeah, sometimes maybe they store rubbish somewhere and then uh, they take it away or they keep it uh, there. I don't know. There can be different reasons. But it's a place for Zobale. Zobale means rubbish. Mazbale is a place. So he says, I have been for 50 years in this Mazbaleya board, in this uh, place of, you know, rubbish of being separate. If I have not understood this so far, I'm not going to understand it after 50 years. So there is no need to wait. If you like to hear my cries, then he says, I am not going to cry against you. Yes, I'm going to cry out of separation, but I'm never going to complain about you. If it is none of these things, but you have made a promise عهد کردی که بسوزی ز قم خیش مرا This is a promise means of course it means that 
this is a wise way that a beloved has to act to increase the level of love because this is not a personal promise at kardi ke besuzi ze gham khish mara you have made you know promise to burn me from your you know the grief for you okay hich gham nist to me saws ke man misuzi no problem i am happy if this is what you want you can continue and i am going to be burnt no problem going to be burnt he says I hope the reply to this arise to this letter of you know request will be given soon so that I know what should I do fa'in qult if you say a b and saf khodat be khodat setam mikoni Oh, the one who doesn't have fairness. You are not fair. You are unfair. You are doing zulm to yourself, injustice to yourself. Otherwise, I have never, even for a moment, been heedless about you, careless about you. Ama wajat tuka yatiman fa awai tuka, wa wajat tuka zallan fa hadai tuka, wa wajat tuka aailan fa agnai tuka. Uh, he is inspired by some verses of the Quran, but puts in the uh, conversational, you know, um, condition. If you say, "Didn't I find you ill, and I looked after you? I found that your enemies are humiliating you. I released you from enemies. They wanted to remove your honor and reputation." I looked after you. So, till now, what have you asked me that I haven't given you? Day and night, did I make any uh, negligence about you? Even your people, you know, for example, if you have servants or people to look after you, they may go to sleep, but I don't leave you. Even maybe your family, ch children, a spouse didn't look after you, but I always looked after you. So why you are complaining? So he says, if you say this to me, قُلْتُ جَزَاكَ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا May Allah reward you. وَقَدْ نَبَّحْتَنِي بِشَيْءٍ كُنْتُ غَافِلًا عَنْهُ بِالْمَرَى Yes. You brought to my attention something that I was totally heedless about. Yes, you have always been very kind. It's very nice that, you know, when you are fair, you don't see only your part. You, you try to understand. Uh, and sometimes in the process, when you are trying to understand, you uh, start understanding new things. So he says, I was totally heedless. I was thinking that these things are happening through asbab. Family, friends, I don't know, others, you know, are providing me with these helps and services. But I was not aware that this is coming from musabbibul asbab, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then under him is hujjah. So, hal ke chanin ast, pas yeki azin dukar bakun. Now that this is the case. You have been always very kind with me, caring for me, etc. So please do one of these two things. Ya man baz mandera nazd khud az wafa talab. Ya tu ke pak damani marg man az khuda talab. Baz mande means someone who is not able to move someone who's stuck this means bonds monday so either call me who is a stock toward yourself as a wafa because you are loyal so either call me toward yourself let me be with you or you are such a pure person pakidamani you are very pure 
Ask Allah to take my life so that I die. I cannot stay in separation. If it's possible, call me toward yourself. If not, ask Allah to take away my life. Amrukum muta'un. Your command is obeyed. Whatever you say, I will do it. Harrarahu Muhammad al-Bahari. It's written by Ayatollah Muhammad al-Bahari. Of course, we don't uh, ask Allah or Hujjah of Allah for death. You should always ask for, inshallah, long life for service. But sometimes, you know, situation reaches the point that uh, you feel that you are stuck. And so it's a way of saying that I have no interest anymore in this life. Either take me to an, a higher level or let me go to a higher <laughs> world in this way. But it's not that something we should take it as a general instruction and keep asking, you know, either give me this or you know, uh, ask Allah to kill me or take my life. This is not what is recommended to everyone. So this letter, Alhamdulillah, uh, finished. Then we will, inshallah, enter the third part of the book. So first part uh, were some writings uh, for uh, different topics. Second part were 16 letters. Inshallah, then we start the se section of the book which are some instructions by great uh, contemporary uh, mystics like Ayatollah Sayyid Ahmad Karbalai, Ayatollah Mullah Hussein Quli Hamadani, and Ayatollah Bidawadi. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless the souls of all of these great uh, scholars and all our scholars and give long life to all those who are alive and increase their likes and enable us to follow their footprints inshallah and footsteps alhamdulillah rabbil alamin allahumma salli ala muhammad